I know Kamala's word because she spends a lot of time complaining. I won't agree to another debate. But the truth is, I've debated twice this year, once against Joe Biden and once against David Muir of ABC. <laughs> that was amazing, 11 times. None for the other side. Do you think that's fair news? I don't think so. That's fake news. I don't know what's going to happen three weeks from now. It's going to be uh, very interesting. It just started. It's actually, uh, it's actually, isn't it sort of exciting, right? It really, isn't it just exciting what's going on? It's a process. It's a rough process, too. Not so pretty, and yet sometimes very beautiful. But the press is reporting that Democrats are starting to panic. They're panicking. They are panicking because, you know, the votes that are coming in are coming in very, very strong in a certain way. I won't tell you what way that is, but <laughs> Chuck Schumer is here looking very glum. <laughs> Doesn't he look glum? He looks glum. <laughs> but look on the bright side, Chuck, considering how woke your party has become. If Kamala loses, you still have a chance to become the first woman president. <laughs> And I actually said, do you mind if I do that? He said, no, you got to do what you got to do. He's a pro. He's a pro. No, he's a good man, actually. I hate to say it. <laughs> Don't ever use it against me, please. I'll say, this dinner was really setting me back when I say it. But I've known him a long time. There's a group called White Dudes for Harris. Have you seen this? White Dudes for Harris. Anybody know? Are, are some of you here? White Dudes for Harris. Doesn't sound like it. But I'm not worried about them at all because their wives and their wives' lovers are all voting for me. <laughs> Every one of those people is voting. 